morning everyone, welcome to Glisten's Culinary Delights. Another day, another video, and this video is awesome. So today we're going to learn, we're gonna do a countdown for our summer recipes because summer is dwindling down and it's almost gone. So one of my favorite things to make for during summertime is coconut chicken strips. So today we're gonna to make that video. If you haven't liked or subscribed to my channel, definitely do so because I have some great videos on my channel and more videos coming every Sunday to you and every Wednesday for reels. So definitely stay tuned for that. Um, and let's get started on our recipe. All right, so first we're gonna make our sauce and then we'll go on to our chicken strips because the sauce can be made in advance and stored in your fridge. So if you've ever been to Red Lobster and you've ever had their coconut shrimp, they have this amazing pina colada sauce that they serve with it. So that's what we're going to make today to serve with our coconut chicken strips. Now I'm doing chicken strips, but you could do the you can do shrimp instead of chicken if you want to do coconut shrimp, and it's just as good and just as amazing if you love shrimp. Um, but I, I'm not a huge fan of shrimp, so we're going to do chicken today. So let's do our pina colada sauce. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add some pina colada mix. And this is non-alcoholic pina colada mix and it just comes in a bottle like this. So you're gonna add it to your pan. All right, then we have some crushed pineapple that we're gonna add. Some coconut, sweetened coconut, some powdered sugar, and just some water. Now you're gonna mix this all up in your pan and bring it to a simmer. It smells like the beach, so it smells so good. Pina colada, oh. If you weren't able to go to the beach this summer, then this is a great sauce to make to bring you there. It's all combined now, so I'm just gonna bring that to a simmer for a moment. Now that our mixture is simmering and bubbling, I'm gonna just turn it down just a little bit to medium low, and we're gonna let that simmer for 10 to 12 minutes. All right, so now that this has been simmering for 10 minutes, I'm going to add our cornstarch. And our cornstarch, I have it mixed with water so it doesn't lump up in our, in our sauce. And slowly add that to your pan. Now, at this point, you're gonna to wanna to keep stirring this and you're gonna let it simmer for another five minutes. All right, so it's been about five minutes that we've let this simmer and it's gotten nice and thick. It will thicken a little bit as it sits. So I'm going to take it off my burner and we're just gonna let this get to room temp because that's, that's how it's served. Um, and we'll get started on our chicken. All right, time to get our chicken tenders ready. So these are chicken tenders um, and I've just got some seasoning salt here that I'm going to season them up with. And I'm gonna stir those around. It's about two pounds of chicken tenders. So you wanna get that seasoning salt all over the tenders just to kind of season them up. All right, so we're gonna let these marinate um, for about 10 minutes just on the counter and we're gonna get our rest of our ingredients together. All right, for this part, we're gonna, you're gonna need a cookie sheet with some parchment on it and three mixing bowls um, and then a few ingredients. So in our first mixing bowl, we're going to have some cornstarch. Second mixing bowl is gonna be two egg whites and I'm just going to Scramble them until they get a little frothy. And then the last bowl, we're going to have some pinko and our shredded coconut. You are going to need to use your hands for this part because we're going to be dipping our chicken. All right. So here's how we're going to do our chicken. You're going to take a chicken tender, like so. You're going to dip it into the cornstarch and cover it up with the cornstarch. Make sure it's completely covered. Then you're going to dip it into your egg. Get it completely covered. And then lastly, you're gonna put it into your coconut mixture. Cover it up completely. Push it down if you need to. All 
right, there you have it. So I'm gonna put my strips on my parchment. And you're just gonna do that with all the chicken. All right, so when all your chicken is done, we're gonna put our chicken strips into the freezer for about half an hour, just so all of the, the breading hardens onto it, so it's easier to fry. All right, and we are back. So it's been 30 minutes, our chicken strips have been in there, um, in the freezer for that time, so now I am warming up my oil. You're gonna want your oil to get to 350. Once it's at 350, then we will take our strips out of the freezer and put them in a pan. All right, so our oil is at temp. I'm going to stick our chicken chips. They're gonna cook for like five to seven minutes. They're thin and they're chicken chips, so you don't have to cook them for too long. Um, and you don't wanna overcrowd your pan, so I'm just gonna put in a few at a time. We could just do them in batches. I'm gonna have a wire rack there too with a paper towel underneath it, so that way it can drain all of the oil from the strips. It's perfectly brown. That's what you're looking for. You're gonna make it just like that on the other side. Okay, so when we take our uh, chicken off of the, out of the oil, we're just gonna season it a little bit, just do a little sprinkle of salt on the chicken. Small sprinkle. All right, and there we have it, our coconut chicken chips. Now I have our dipping sauce here, our pina colada sauce, and then I made a separate, different sauce. It's a spicy mango sauce. Um, and if you head over to my reels or my shorts, you can see the video on how I made this. It's really easy. Um, and it's also a really good sauce to dip in your coconut chicken chips. So we are going to try these now. And open one of them up. Oh yeah, that's like perfect. Glistening like me. Perfectly cooked. I'm gonna dip it. Well actually I'm gonna try it without the dipping sauce first and then I'll dip it in the sauce. The chicken is so moist. Let's dip it in this pina colada sauce that we just made. That's good. It's sweet, but it works perfectly with the coconut and the chicken strips. Let's try our mango sauce. That's also really good. The difference between this and this is this is just sweet. This got a little kick to it. It's a little spicy. And it's sweet and spicy, so it's really good. I just killed that. <laughs> We'll say I'm so glad that I do these videos on Saturdays because I have my cheat meal because this is a cheat meal if there ever was one and it is so good. Now if you don't like sweet sauce or sweet and spicy sauce, you can always just dip it in ranch. It tastes just as good and it is an amazing dish. Super fast, super easy. Thank you all for joining me. Recipe will be down in the description for the, both of these items. Head over to my reel so you can see how I made this sweet and spicy um, mango sauce. And subscribe to my channel. I have very lots more videos coming to you. And lots of videos that are already out on my channel that you can peruse. So head on over to my channel. Like, subscribe, go to my Instagram, TikTok, whatever. Um, and join me next time on Glisten's Culinary Delights. Thank you very much.